find out ways students can protect themselves from harm and illness. And CAFA's newest performance is just days away. It's Thursday, November 5th, time for another edition of NSU News. I'm Sarah Kramer. And I'm LaKimbrill Williams. Thanks for joining us. Your news starts now. Students could possibly face an increase in fees, but it would be for a good cause. NSU News reporter Jeffrey Scholler explains. All Northwestern students know about the Student Union. It's a place to come, chill, meet up with friends, and maybe grab a bite to eat from Fix. But it looks like in the near future, the union could either be getting a facelift or not be around at all. The SGA is conducting a poll that deals with student fees about the Student Union. Junior fashion major Madison Wakefield expresses her opinion about the possible increase of student fees. I voted just to go ahead and revamp the union instead of building a new one just because with things that are going on on the campus now, people actually getting laid off from jobs, how are we getting this money to actually build a new union? And it's going to have to raise our fees and I don't think students are going to want that. I think they'd rather see a change immediately and something that they'll have to wait years for when they're paying for it now. A smaller student fee will be used to revamp the current union, while a larger fee will be used to build a brand new one. Junior accounting major Courtney Espinon feels like the smaller fee is the best choice. Okay, well I did not vote for a larger fee, I voted for a smaller fee to redo the union because I feel like there's a bunch of buildings on campus that aren't utilized right now and it really upsets me and I would like to just see this building stay for its historic value and be updated on the inside. Current SGA polls indicate that the majority of students have voted for the smaller fee. However, they should know the final results of the polls by next Friday. Reporting for NSU News, I'm Jeffrey Scholler. Health Services is now offering the swine flu vaccine. The state of Louisiana delivered 200 doses of the vaccine last Thursday and will be given out next Saturday, November 10th from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. The vaccine will be administered on a first-come, first-served basis to the following people. Health care workers, pregnant women, anyone up to 64 years old that have diabetes, asthma or other medical conditions that predispose them to complications from the flu and anyone caring for or living with infants under the age of six months. The vaccine is free and anyone who meets this high risk criteria can receive it after presenting a photo ID. However, the clinic will not give the vaccine to anyone who is already sick or to anyone who is allergic to eggs. For those of you who are not eligible to receive this vaccine at this point, don't worry. Health Services plans to receive a second and larger shipment of vaccines, but they do not have a definite time as to when they will receive it. Students are encouraged to check the electronic marquee outside of the Student Union over the next few weeks for more information. While Health Services is protecting students from the swine flu, Safeway Group is keeping students safe while walking across campus. Throughout November, there will be classes that teach students how to safely use crosswalks. The Safeway Group will be inside and outside the Student Union on November 10th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. They will be asking students their thoughts on the crosswalks and what can be done to ensure their safety in the future. Then, on November 17th from 7 to 8 p.m., they will hold a panel discussion on the issue in the Cane River Room in the Student Union and invite all students to come out and give their thoughts on crosswalk safety. Find out how NSU Angels reached out to the community for help to be a blessing to a demon basketball player. Reporter LaKimbria Williams flies around to bring us the story. Since 7.30 this morning, the NSU Angels, NSU's booster club for the basketball team, have been selling and preparing 
barbecue plates, as well as raffle tickets. 100% of the funds raised will go directly toward paying the medical bills of Dwayne Watkins, an NSU men's basketball player who was severely injured in a car wreck in August. The NSU Angels reached out to the NSU and Natchitoches community to make donations for the cause, and they weren't the only ones reaching out to the community for help. NSU student Justin Thompson sold 25 tickets. I saw them just random people, frat brothers, alumni, regular people in our community. So I basically just jotted their name down, told them I delivered the tickets on Saturday because obviously I appreciate what they're doing and buying them from me. About 240 dinners were sold for $5 a plate, and Jermaine Spencer, a former NSU basketball player, was up all night preparing and cooking the cases of chicken because... The time. One of my teammates, I still call them my teammates because, like I said, we all like a band of brothers. So anytime I could help one of them, especially in a situation like Dwayne's in, I mean, I'll do anything for him. Him and any other, any other guy. According to Donna Anderson, the advisor for the NSU Angels, before the surgery that Watkins just received, his medical bills were already up to about $200,000. So Ms. Anderson thanks those that helped out. Southern Classic, they donated all the rolls. Um, we had several businesses that donated the little to-go plates, chilies, places like that. Reporting for NSU News, I'm LaKimbria Williams. Until 5 p.m. today, you can still help with the cost of Dwayne Watkins' medical bills by purchasing a raffle ticket for a chance to win a $100 gift card to Walmart. Just stop by NSU's campus police station before 5 to purchase your ticket. The journalism department is now making it easier for soldiers to earn their degree. The department teamed up with the Defense Informational School, which allows soldiers to transfer credit hours toward the completion of a bachelor's degree at NSU. The school is a military institute in Fort Meade, Maryland, that produces public affairs and visual information personnel for the Department of Defense. Soldiers who qualify for this program will get to receive a bachelor's in journalism through the department's online program. They'll be able to maintain their active duty status while going to school. The department plans to receive these students by next spring. Well, Megan, it has been beautiful these last couple of days. Please tell me that for our game this weekend, it's going to continue on. It is going to continue, um, and that is great because we have a game Saturday versus Southern, and I will give you more details on weather when we come back. 